like if you read the Naruto manga, you know some shit is going down right now. The God Tree is going in, sucking the chakra out of pretty much everybody. Naruto is in one of the most dire situations I've ever seen him in. I mean, he was wrapped up in the limbs of the God Tree, the thing that gave every shinobi on earth its power. And Naruto's chakra sucked out. He's looking messed up. So something is going to have to happen. I don't think Naruto's going to be able to do too much right now anyway. Because, I mean, that thing sucked him out of Biju mode and his Sage mode. Same thing with Minato. So I don't see any father-son Kurama action going on anytime soon. Personally, I would like to see Hagoromo Usutsuki himself come back via a contract with the God Tree. Similar to how Naruto's parents, you know, intertwined their chakra with the QB. So when Naruto tried to take Kurama Kurama's chakra, his mother's chakra showed up, and when the uh, the seal, well, Kurama's seal weakened, his father's chakra showed up. Maybe, it's what if, maybe, it's a, it's a long shot, but what if Hagaramo Usutsuki did the same thing? When the Jubi became the God Tree, he intertwined his chakra, and maybe he will come to be the one to, you know, reseal it or whatever. What if he had the foresight to do that? That would be awesome. If that does happen, I'm going to fangirl all over the place because I want to see the story of Hagoromo and Kaguya Asutsuki from, you know, his mouth, not Madara's, you know, Aztec like hieroglyphic flashbacks. I want to see the actual flashback of Kaguya, you know, giving birth or eating the fruit herself. And I want to see how Goromo actually facing off against the Jubi and what the God Tree originally was before all the chakra was split up into all the Shinobi. I want to see how powerful that thing was and exactly what Hagoromo had to go through to do what he did to seal the Jubi. Granted, I'm pretty sure we're going to see either a return from Hagoromo or Kaguya, either of them, before the series is over. It might not be right now, but let's talk about what is going to happen and how the hell is Naruto going to get out of that situation. Granted, Lord Third did come out of nowhere and save him. Who knows where he's been hiding you know the past 10 chapters pretty much but that did save him for the time being but he got his chakra sucked out it sucked him out of biju mode and sage mode so someone either on the battlefield or from the outside is going to have to come in now sasuke he's looking like he's thinking maybe he'll try an amaterasu because you know the you know the tree is made out of wood obviously and amaterasu fire you know fire burns wood maybe that will work for a little bit of time but i don't see that being the actual answer to this problem i'm thinking someone from the outside that's not on the battlefield right now is going to have to come in. I mean, because the only people who can really, really make a difference right now is either Sasuke or some of the Hokage that's on the battlefield right now. Now, granted, the uh, the Kage can come in, you know, Tsunade, Garo, and everyone else, they can come in, but I can't imagine what they would actually do against something like that, you know, the God Tree. I'm thinking Orochimaru's sneaky ass has something up his sleeve to either help out or something. I'm talking about this situation is dire as fuck. Madara is up to something. We have no idea yet. He says he's going to be the one to activate the Eternal Tsukiyomi. And who knows how that's going to happen since Obito is the one that's looking like Hagoromo Usutsuki himself. And Obito seems like he's in more control of the, the Jubi slash God Tree because, you know, he's like in the Sage of Six Paths form right now. But Madara does have a trump card that he's told us like 20 years ago that we have yet to see. So no doubt he has something up his sleeve. So who knows what that is, but... Who's going to be the one to stop this? Like I said, I would really like Hagoromo to have some type of contract when the Jubi turns into the God Tree. His chakra will be summoned and he will be the one to defeat this threat, defeat, you know, uh, or just reseal it or divide it back up into Tail Beast or something like that. Now, a very popular theory that I see going around YouTube and just over the net period is that the forbidden fruit will bloom again and Naruto will be the one to eat it and bite it somehow. You know, uh, granted, he will have to find out how to get the fuck up there. Maybe he catches a ride from Sasuke's heavy no homo. But if that does happen, remember, Kaguya took down an entire war by herself. If that happens, Naruto will be the next Sage of Six Paths. I'm talking about... The Sage is the one who gave every shinobi pretty much the ninjutsu that they have. So if Naruto gains that power by eating the fruit, I'm talking about the series is going to be wrapped up right there. I'm talking about he's going to murk Madara, he's going to murk Obito, he's going to murk Orochimaru, he's going to just be the god right then and there. And that's not the kind of ending I want. I don't want Naruto to just, you know, just say, here, you know, fuck you, I'm OP as hell, and you're dead. I don't want that. I want Madara to be taken care of by Hashirama. I want Orochimaru to be taken care of by maybe Sasuke, but probably Naruto, and Obito to be taken care of by either Naruto and Minato, 
Kakashi or just Naruto. A plot twist, what if Madara's idea or trump card is somehow eating the fruit before the flower can bloom, before Obito can do what he does? Now, that will make the uh, that will make the story for me because we already got the plot twist of Obito becoming the Ten Tails Jinchiriki instead of Madara, and Madara didn't look too pissed. It's like he already knew that he can get uh, an X amount of power from somewhere else, and since we're learning about this almighty forbidden fruit, maybe that's it. Maybe this is the power that Madara is just so you know, confident in that he just doesn't give a fuck if Obito stole the Ten Tails Jinchiriki spot from him. I'm thinking that's it, man. I'm calling it. I hope Madara does eat the fruit, and that would just make the uh, the the, more, the final fight more dire and just more epic. It will make the last fight between Madara and Hashirama and everyone else on the battlefield that much more epic. Like I said, I don't think Naruto is going to be the one to defeat this threat, at least not right now, because someone has to save him really right now because he has like little to no chakra right now. So someone from the outside, whether it be the Kages, Orochimaru, or someone summoned, or something of that nature is going to have to come in. Someone's going to have to step in. Tell me what you guys think. Do you want to see how Goromo and Kaguya come back? Do you want to see their story, you know, non- like Madara story because it was just like hieroglyphics and like like not detailed pictures of them. I want to see exactly what happened. Do you want to see how Goromo come back and settle this? Do you want to see who do you want to see settle this? I mean, I'm interested in your theories. Let me know down below. But I'm really digging the manga right now. I'm talking about the war is finally seeming like a war in the manga. I mean, the anime is doing a good job of making it feel like that. But the manga has been lacking a little bit lately. But this, I mean, this is like the most dire I've seen Naruto. It really gives you the sense of danger. And like I said, from the outside looking in, this is like like a hopeless situation. I mean, Obito is up to no good, Madara is up to no good, and the God Tree is already pretty much reborn, well, all the way, and it's Juby's final form. I mean, come on. I mean, something has to happen. This is the climax of the war, it seems like. So, like I said, tell me what you guys thought about this uh, prediction. This has been JB the Chia. Like, comment, subscribe. Tell me what you thought, and I'm out.